guys welcome back to my channel you guys i want to go ahead and sit down and talk to you about my favorite oily skin products these are all the products i do use myself and i really do believe in them and i always get people asking me what's my favorite foundation favorite concealer primer and so on when it comes to oily skin so i do feel like this video will kind of help a lot of people out there um but with that being said i do have a lot of things in front of me right now so if you guys want to go on and see what they are then go ahead and keep on watching all right so the first one i do want to talk about is brow pencils and i always go ahead and use the goof proof brow pencil i cannot say that i don't know why goof proof brow pencil from benefits and this stays on all day it doesn't move at all it doesn't budge and it's also matte because a lot of brow pencils i've tried in the past they're very glossy on the brows which i don't like at all but this one does not do that it's very matte and then to set it go ahead and use my anastasia claire brow gel i was about to say in the shade claire but obviously y'all get the point uh, so I go ahead and use these two together and my brows doesn't move at all so yeah when it does come to oily skin be careful what brow products you use because some of them will come up throughout the day because we do have shiny skin and it's just natural to happen but with this y'all I recommend them it won't play you and it's just my favorite product that I use all the time when it comes to my brows now moving on to primers I know some people feel like they don't need primers in their life but for me I have to use a primer especially because I do have oily skin and now y'all know I was talking about my Canaan Awesome mattifying primer this is my baby I always have to use it and when I don't use it I notice my skin doesn't look as good throughout the day and the only thing I will say this is about $60 it's so expensive I just it's so expensive I can't there's nothing to say about that um but I do recommend it because it does work and it also has SPF in it and controls my oils and makes my skin look really flawless and then another primer I do want to talk about it's a benefit professional this really helps me because I do have a lot of pores in this region and on my nose but another thing about it is it really does help to control your oils so these two I do recommend of course they're very pricey but at the same time when it comes to oily skin I almost feel like you have to go ahead and get what works for your skin and I know it sucks because we want to go ahead and use the cheaper products but sometimes they just don't work on our skin so these two I recommend I love them y'all like these are just my babies and I always have to go ahead and use these two together now for foundation I'm very very picky because a lot of foundations I've tried they look good on my skin but when it comes to oily skin and controlling the oils I have only three that I really feel like work for me and the first one is the Estee Lauder double wear y'all heard me talk about this so many times on my channel but it really helps to control your oils and even though it's very thick and heavy on the skin if you go ahead and use a beauty blender it doesn't feel as heavy on the skin um but it just controls my oils it stays all day it doesn't move i have sweat through this foundation i have done so many things with this foundation on and it still looks flawless and the next one is the maybelline fit me foundation the matte and poreless foundation for normal to oily skin and y'all know i talk about this on my channel all the time but it really does work and it's only six or five dollars it's so cheap um but it just stays on the skin and it looks really really nice and honestly it's better than a lot of the high-end foundations I have tried out there. I know that's a huge claim to say but I have tried a lot of foundation and this one just looks a whole lot better on the skin throughout the day. And then the last one is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation which I do have on my face today and it really controls my oils and it just looks so good on the skin you guys. Like honestly I'm still shocked by this because when it comes to CoverGirl I just really don't try a lot of their products but this one just freaking impressed me and it's just it's a bomb like it's amazing i love it on the skin so these three i really do recommend some of these are very cheap and affordable they're not all expensive this one's about 35 to 40 dollars so it's not too bad but it's a little bit expensive now for concealers i do have three and one of them i don't have in person because i just ran out and it's a tarte shape tape concealer that concealer is the best or one of the best i've tried out there and it's matte it's full coverage it doesn't look cakey and it just blends really well into the skin so i do recommend that one and the next one i do have is a mac pro long wear concealer and i don't use this as often because this shade is a little bit too dark for me and the one below it is a little bit too light so I don't know I just never use it that much um but with that being said it's still a great concealer because once you go ahead and put it on your skin it doesn't budge at all actually you have to go ahead and blend it really quickly because it will stay right where you put it um but I do recommend this for oily skin and the last one I do have is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer this is my favorite concealer in the whole entire world I'm just gonna go ahead and put it out there even though it doesn't claim to be like a matte concealer or a concealer for oily skin this looks good on all skin types it doesn't matter if you're dry oily in combination it looks really good on the skin it blends really well it's creamy i'm just 
it's my favorite concealer in the whole entire world um but if you guys do have any other concealers you want to let me know about please let me know down below in the comment section because i do want to try some new concealers out um the new cover effects concealer i do want to try that out i can't think of the name right now but really popular a lot of people say it's good so i'm gonna go ahead and try that one out now for under eye powders i am very 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 picky because my under eyes just i don't know what it is some powders look good underneath there some powders don't it just is what it is but the first one is a huda beauty um easy bake powder in the shade kanafa this powder i know it's a lot of controversy with it but at the same time y'all is the best powder i've ever tried it's very just it blends into the skin really well it doesn't look cakey and it just makes your under eyes look very filtered and nice um the only thing i don't like is the scent i feel like it's a little bit too strong at times but i've gotten so used to it at this point um but this powder is just is one of the best i have tried and i know a lot of people just don't want to go ahead and try it out but i do recommend it because she has a lot of colors out there for so many skin types and it's just bomb y'all and the next under eye powder i do have is the laura mercier powder in the shade translucent and this is just one of my favorites i use it in all my clients when i go ahead and do their makeup and it looks so flawless it just looks nice on every skin tone i've tried out there from the darkest of the darkest to the lightest it doesn't matter but these two i do recommend these are the only two that i use recently and i have so many powders out there but these two just stand out the most to me so one product i do want to mention is the fenty beauty contour stick or the matte stick in the shade espresso and i know a lot of people don't think this is like geared towards any skin type but at the same time y'all it's very matte on the skin and it has like a powder texture to it so i go ahead and put it on my face and i do have it on today and it doesn't move at all it doesn't get dewy or just you know glowy throughout the day it just looks like a matte contour stick and it just stays in place so i do recommend this right here and it's 25 dollars, and you do get a lot of product i have had it for like a couple months now and i still have this much left so it's not going anywhere anytime soon um i just want to go ahead and quickly mention this one right here so when it comes to setting my foundation i always go ahead and use only one powder y'all have seen it on my channel a million times at this point and it's a max studio fix plus powder foundation i cannot talk in the shade nw45 and this is just one of the best of actually it's the best foundation powder that i've tried because it has a lot of coverage in there it makes my skin look so flawless and just airbrush i don't know what it is when i go ahead and put this powder on my skin just comes together um and it controls my oil really nicely at the same time though i still feel like it oxidizes on my skin which is the only thing i don't like so i'm still looking for other powders out there so if you have any recommendations please let me know down below um but this powder foundation is just it's freaking amazing i don't know why i waited so long to try this out this is my first one that i've ever gotten from mac and i know the hype now i understand it and it's just a freaking good powder all right so when it comes to setting sprays i feel like i don't have to say too much about this one right here and this is the urban decay all night of makeup setting spray i mean it just does everything it sets my makeup it locks in my foundation it controls my oils throughout the day it is honestly the best setting spray i have tried and i do like the mac fix plus which i do love because it makes everything look like skin but at the same time i do notice i get a little bit too dewy and glowy with that one which is not a bad thing but if you do have really oily skin it's not the best on um, setting spray but this right here is just the bomb and i don't have to say too much you guys already know this it's good all right so the last bit i do have is skincare and the first one i do want to talk about is the cerave foaming facial cleanser for normal to oily skin um i've been using this for about the past year and it's just a really gentle cleanser um it doesn't irritate my skin doesn't cause any issues and it does help in the morning when i go ahead and wash my face with this and then i do my makeup i do notice my foundation doesn't look as oily throughout the day and it's only what ten dollars and you can find it at walmart cvs walgreens and what not so i do recommend this right here now the next two are from ola harrington and i do have their balancing force um oil control toner this this is really good all right so i've heard desi perkins talk about this multiple times so if i decide to go ahead and pick it up and it has a bunch of oils in here um some other stuff that i can't pronounce um but it has a lot of good stuff in here and it's really good for oil control but one thing i do want to mention about this is if you have like 
bumps or pimples on your face you go ahead and put this the night before it really reduces the size so i do recommend this if you do have breakouts um any acne issues go ahead and try this out i'm sure you will love it now the last one i do have from ola harrington is their sheer transformation perfecting moisturizer i have tried a lot of moisturizers out there and i always go ahead and repurchase this one because it's very lightweight and not too heavy for my skin if you do have oily skin you don't want to go ahead and use a heavy moisturizer it just makes it a little bit too oily and greasy but this one right here is very lightweight on the skin and it just feels really really nice so these three i do recommend i have been using them for like the past year and a half and my skin has just improved so much especially when it comes to oil control y'all like back in the day i used to be a grease ball but now my skin kind of like chilled out a little bit all right so those are all the products i have to share with you guys i do hope you enjoyed this video please 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 let me know down below what you would love to see on my channel i'm kind of in that mode where i don't know what to film so i don't want to get in a rut so please let me know down below what you would love to see on my channel but i love you guys so much don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out i love you again i'll see you guys in my next one